Fast, 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 fast. Yeah, yeah, that way the screen shows up better. I, I just. I can call this like if the video is for the the like channel. I'm gonna call this Extreme Horizon Zero Dawn performance on GPD Win Three. Hardcore. Hard. One hundred percent permanent death. Speed run fastest in the world. Let's put it. You know what? Let's put on ultimate quality. Oh yeah, yeah, we got it. Yeah! What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? It says, kernel security check failure. That's a new one! Yeah, we fucking got it! Let me put a different hard drive in. This is the same hard drive I showed running Windows 10 yesterday. Wait, I think the control stick stopped working. Um, when the back's off, that's it. Everything else works fine. Oh yeah, washing machine noise. Cool. So that's off now. I'm gonna undo this, and then we can watch the actual magic. I'm gonna scroll back in, so no one can be like, "Oh, the fan's not in there, so of course it's not gonna work." It's got nothing to do with that. It's just built like garbage. All right. So this is the other interesting thing I noticed. This tiny screw here doesn't actually hold the hard drive in right, and I'm pretty sure it was on a slight angle when I took it out the first time. I don't think these are assembled right. I think they're assembled like slightly crooked which either is damaging the contact or it's whatever it, you know making the hard drive work um or it's breaking the drive itself i think it's more than that on my unit because i've seen other people have ssd issues i'll plug this in same way see look it's all the way in it's in right i haven't done anything wrong um, my uh, workbench has steel frames so it's not like i'm statically charge myself and it's broken forever because otherwise it wouldn't boot when I put that one back in which you'll see it will it's just the other hard drive it does this on and I've tried it with three different drives now uh, I've got an Intel drive I've got this um, Samsung drive and I've got another Samsung drive and I've got a million other drives out of Nux I can guarantee you they'll all do the same thing I don't know why oh, no fucking clue. so here we go things in four it would boot look what it does now let's let's see what it does Fucking BIOS. Why? I don't understand. Everyone has been saying that it doesn't do this. It's just me. Um, for some reason, I've done it wrong. I haven't done it wrong. It's showing up right there. Right, so it says Samsung SSD 960 Pro 512 gigabytes. So it's showing it. Save and exit. Yes. Oh, look at that. It goes back into the fucking BIOS. Ready, let's save and exit. Oh, look at that. It goes back in the BIOS. I don't know why it does that. Cool. Very, very cool. So, I don't know why it does this. I'm gonna plug the SD card in, which has Ubuntu. It works. Upside down. There you go. So, SD card's in there. It's booted off the SD card before. Worked absolutely fine with the other SSD in. For some reason, it does this. I don't know why it does this. I've got no idea. It's just super weird. Um, you guys figure out why? Great, I honestly have no idea, and here you go, just for reference, uh, hopefully the exposure will just there a little bit, it shows it's the Win3 2.22 x64 BIOS. I have no idea, I honestly have no idea. Like, I have done nothing wrong, it's just, it's installed the way it's meant to be, it's not crooked, the screw's in the way it should be, if I touch it, it doesn't tap, it's not, it's not got too much space there, it just doesn't work. I don't know why, and this is the same drive that works in my laptop. Grounds here, it's a... Why? Why does it do this? Why does it do this? I don't understand, I honest, honestly, I understand this as much as you will be looking at this going, why is it recognized one hard drive? If you know why, please explain it. Um, you just plug it back in. Look, the battery's in there, it's not like I'm gonna blow it up. Same as before. Uh, I think the key on the Clevos is the same as the win. I think it's F7 to go into the boot menu. Pull all this crap away. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Cool. F7. F7? Oh, oh whatever. See? Okay, look at that. Samsung... 
it's a Sega port. Uh, boot. Here you go. Here you go. Check it out. Boot. This is the 960 Pro. Cool. Boot overrides. Samsung SSD. You ready? It's booting from that SSD that we just swapped over, so it's got nothing to do with it being dirty. It's got nothing to do with the drive being broken. There's something fucky happening here, GPD. 